Hello, my name is Shirley Self, and I'm here to talk astrology. Today I wanted to talk about uh, somebody I find really interesting, one Julian Assange, the proprietor and inventor of uh, WikiLeaks. Um, so Julian Assange is uh, now in prison in London, having spent the last seven years uh, holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy. Um, but first, let's give a little. Let's let me have you look at his horoscope, so because um, it's really interesting. Uh, Julian Assange has uh, information. He was born on the third of July in 1971 in uh, Townville, Australia, at 2:08 p.m. He uh, his son is in uh, cancer. In the eighth house, his uh, his nodes are on the um, midheaven IC. So, uh, and his ascendant is at eighteen degrees of Scorpio. It's interesting. Eighteen degrees of Scorpio is um, uh, traditionally called the uh, accursed degree of the accursed sign. Um, I've known uh, people who, I knew a man who had an uh, 18 degrees son, and uh, he, he was. He was a, a criminal um, a lawyer. He was a, a lawyer, <laughs> and it fit. He was uh, quite a, a powerful opponent. Um, uh, so anyway, Julian Assange has this uh, fascinating degree on his ascendant. He's got also the moon is on the is over here on the ascendant the moon in the twelfth uh, house. He's got that Jupiter Jupiter Neptune conjunction up there. He is guided by his ideals. Uh, let me talk about uh, the basics of Julian Assange here for a minute. He was uh, born in Australia to uh, um, a, well he was raised by a single mother who was uh, on the run from the law. So uh, Julian had a very unsettled, uh, unstable childhood. And it shows in, in many places in his horoscope. For instance, look at that Chiron over there in Aries on, in the sixth house. Now, a Chiron in the sixth house, um, it, that's your wound. Your Chiron is the wound. And, and when you uh, start to um, investigate and work on that wound, that is leads you right into your path, the path, uh, uh, the, your heroic path through your life. His wound is uh, in Aries, in the sixth house. And the sixth house is, is uh, you know, um, traditionally ruled by uh, Virgo, movable earth. And so movement is a, a prime uh, quality here. And all that instability, all that movement in his life was a uh, very deep wounding to him. Um, plus, uh, he was constantly at uh, in a condition of war, and that Mars he, he rules that uh, that Chiron. He's got that Mars conjunct the North Node right down there in the fourth house, right on the IC. So uh, that Mars is real important to that dude because it rules his ascendant. So that uh, disturbed childhood um, and disturbed education, he never got a degree. He went to several different colleges as he uh, lived all over Australia. I, get, I don't know where he went to college, but he didn't, didn't de get a degree and um, became a quite proficient hacker, which got him into some trouble in Australia, which didn't cost him a lot. Uh, it didn't, wasn't expensive. Uh, lesson for him to get caught, uh, and he uh, and didn't go to jail or anything. So um, anyway, he started WikiLeaks in um, in uh, two thousand and six, and here is a picture of him in uh, two thousand and eleven. Quite a good-looking young man. He doesn't look like that now. He has been running from the law, uh, even though he never broke the law. 
He never broke the law. It's not illegal what he did. What other people do may be illegal and treasonous, uh, according to what they expose of our governments and our uh, the people who run things in this world. They're a sneaky bunch, and um, and it's Julian's um, mes message um, to us is uh, that they are a sneaky bunch, and here's what they're doing. Um, so he is a moon phase 10. A moon phase 10 is right down here. It's uh, just starting to get get uh, into the uh, uh, water quarter. So what it's all about here in the water quarter is uh, learning to uh, deal with your emotions. Because the emotions are the source of your creativity. They're because they're the source of your passion. That passion is often called uh, the fire in the water. Um, and uh, fire in fire water does tend to make us passionate, but that's not what, what this is. This is the passion that comes from uh, emotion and uh, commitment that comes from emotion. So it, what uh, Moon Phase 10 is doing is Moon Phase 9, God willing, learned to focus at, at emotion, at that passion, on a... a Something that um, uh, they were, they were, they and their body was really into. Um, moon phase ten is um, well. This try, this tri rectangle is all about um, self determination. It's all about this is who I am, and um, poor you if you can't handle it. These are, a, it's a rectangle of extremists, um, as, um, who was it, the poet, um, I'll think of him in a minute, but he said, if, if, if those who go too far are truly looking to uh, find out exactly how far they can go, and that is true of these uh, um, 10, 20, 24, and 6, they're all extremists. Uh, as William Blake said, uh, the ro the path to wisdom it goes through excess. So and they and the path they are working on their path to wisdom, and they are all uh, uh, they all have to learn where and when to stop. They all have to find limits. They're pushing the boundaries. They're pushing the uh, the possibilities. Um, and letting people know that this is this is uh, possible. Uh, the craftsman up here uh, works on uh, developing something to perfection, and in the process develops himself. And this is a mask of Moon Phase Ten. Uh, the craftsman, excellence. The goal is excellence. This is the creative genius of Moon Phase Ten. The judge. Moon phase 20, uh, my favorite moon phase 20, well, other than uh, Marilyn Monroe. Well, Marilyn Monroe was an excellent example of uh, this rectangle because she defined herself. Marilyn Monroe was a, a, a dress she put on, a persona she put on at the drop of a hat. She created that persona, um, and that's what... Uh, Ten is doing. Ten is actually breaking free from other people's uh, uh, labels, other people's ideas and and the images opposed on him. Uh, I uh, I know a young man who should be crippled, <laughs> but it uh, it's really hard to tell that he is crippled because he does so much. He refused to uh, let his mother define him as a cripple, and so he doesn't feel like a cripple. Um, his legs don't work too well. He had polio. Uh, and he's a 10. And he will define, he defines his own self. They do this because, uh, whereas Moon Phase 9 was into creativity, Moon Phase 10 is into, as Yates says, action and, dem and command. And uh, uh, that pretty much fits uh, our uh, George Bush the uh, first. He was... Uh, head of the CIA, 
he was uh, very much into action and command. His uh, politics has, um, continued a trend that is resulting in what we see now. Um, but that didn't have anything to do with him being a moon phase six. Um, I mean, a moon phase ten, sorry. So, uh, moon phase ten, let me see what else. They have to develop their own, they have to uh, function on their own personal code, their own personal code of conduct. They have a guiding ideal. They are passionate extremists. Okay, let's look at our uh, Julian Assange. Um, that passion is passionate extremist. Look at the Jupiter Neptune uh, conjunction right there. Opposing Saturn. Opposing Saturn over there. And this really uh, is interesting because the Saturn over there is, you know, government and those in charge. And it's over there in Julian's house of the open enemy, the seventh house. And he has his own ideal. This ideal says he 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 has he is an his own ideal person, and as best he can, um, he is an iconoclast, and he wants no authority over him. And so the struggle against this Saturn. Oh, uh, what uh, and he attacked their communications. So appropriate. Um. So, let's look at Julian's horoscope here. Um, his uh, his chart is ruled by this Saturn or this uh, Mars down here. He's a Scorpio rising, and that moon means that the the Mars rules the Moon, and the Moon rules the Sun, and the Sun rules the South Node, and the uh, mid heaven. Um, so virtually the Mars rules, um, well, the Mars rules the Ascendant, the Moon, and the Sun. That's pretty heavy duty. And the Mars has also got the North Node conjuncted. So this iconoclast uh, who, um, who is at, at war, an idealistic war against um, liars and the uh, hidden um, machinations of those in power. He has managed to get uh, banks and governments um, incre uh, and powerful rich people uh, incredibly angry at him. And so um, he was forced to seek refuge after uh, about 2011 or 12. He sought refuge in the... Um, Ecuadorian embassy in London, and he lived there for seven years. They finally evicted him in last spring, and uh, but look at his, he, he's a mess. I bet he's just a mess. I bet he's just, I'm sorry, but this guy needs somebody to clean up after him. Uh, that Aquarius, the Mars down there, um, it's... So I can see <laughs> that they would gradually find him offensive. The, the dude is not an easy person to live with. He is incredibly conflicted. Uh, look, let's just look at his son. The son is a uh, square, square Uranus. And it's a quite a, a, a beautiful square. Um, it um, makes him self-willed. It makes him rebellious. Okay, and he's got that... Um, Saturn, um, Jupiter opposition, Saturn, Neptune, Jupiter opposition there. Um, and that um, makes him not want to take responsibility for himself or um, what he's done. Or It's kind of an escapist um, aspect. It's very much an escapist aspect. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Um, the moon is uh, squared the midheaven. The moon over here is squared the midheaven. Now that brings up uh, an interesting thing about uh, a moon phase 10. Their obligation is uh, to, to uh, develop emotional restraint, emotional uh, control. 
And as they develop their own emotional control, they're in control of their world, and that's what they want to do. They want to be in control of the situation and other people and so forth. And the moon in Scorpio is very much uh, that way, wanting to be in control. But and and um, but at the same time, they're having to do this, learn this emotional control while being exceedingly vulnerable to the emotional atmosphere. The emotional atmosphere is very disturbing to them, and they respond to it um, in spite of themselves. And so uh, they have to learn uh, what Yeats called a burning restraint. Now this guy is very hard to have a burning restraint when you've got a, a sun square uh, Uranus and that that's impulsive and um, uh, uncooperative and and um, rash quite uh, rash he's got the m moon I mean the Venus excuse me Venus is square Pluto um, that's uh, even it's even a rape aspect, and it's interesting that um, that what happened to our hero here um, was that in Sweden he did not practice burning restraint, but uh, the Swedes said he uh, he had sex with these two women, and um, they accused him not exactly of rape but sex by surprise. <laughs> Sun square Uranus, Venus square uh, Pluto, and Mars uh, ruling the ascendant, and the sun, and the moon, uh, and the midheaven. So uh, burning restraint is very difficult for this, for this man, and if he had practiced it, he would not be in near as much trouble. Because that was uh, this accusation of rape or sex by surprise, whatever it was, uh, kind of um, started a uh, um, government actually thought they governments actually thought they had a, a hold on him, because what he did starting WikiLeaks was in, uh, in no way illegal. Um, he's simply providing a domain for other people um, to um, put out information that, that they have hacked. So uh, there's really no justification for the fact that now he is, after the uh, uh, Ecuadorian embassy threw him out, I think for being a messy and a nuisance, uh, he was arrested and is in, um, is in prison in London. For, for why? Uh, these our government, they're holding him for possible extradition to the United States. The United States is wanting to uh, uh, prosecute this man uh, who is not a citizen of the United States and who's never broken a law of the United States. But they want to prosecute him here for treason. He's not a citizen of the United States. Uh, but uh, he's supposedly uh, subject to exceedingly amounts of psychological torture in uh, where he is now in London and his and people are tr fighting hard to get him out because he's deteriorating badly when um, he was evicted from the Ecuadorian embassy I saw a, a picture of him and he looked like um, well he looked like David Letterman to tell you the truth and um, Understand that this man, Moon Phase 6, he's got a, a exceedingly amount, he's a vulnerable to the emotional atmosphere. He's, um, he's the Saturn in, uh, in Gemini is on his, uh, rules his third house of how he thinks. And it also rules his IC and his Mars, the Saturn. Uh, so it's, uh, being confined the way he is and subject to torture um, it is wearing him down uh, to um, <laughs> he'll either make it'll either make him or break him um, but um, 
the the f fact is that um, the United States is um, after a man who uh, <laughs> embarrassed us. Uh, I doubt that he uh, was responsible for anything being published. It wasn't supposed, to, but didn't need to be published. The United States, you know, is under uh, uh, terrible forces right now, forces of uh, falsehood, uh, lying. And our lying is uh, being exposed, and we're doubling down on it. Our government is doubling down on it. So this man was um, doing what a moon phase uh, 10 and 11 uh, have to do, is uh, expose Expose the lies. They are iconoclasts, after all. Um, let's see, what else? Understand that um, this personal ideal here is, uh, is his guiding light. It's his mask. Let's look at this up here a minute. His mask is over here in, in 24. Well, their goal, virtually, is to use uh, their craft, what they do in the world, to uh, transform them and to bring them to personal excellence. The master craftsman, the uh, creative genius for him right here is, let's look at his creative genius. His creative genius is, uh, is right there in... It's at, um, let me look, 26 Aries, 34, in the sixth house. The sixth house is, you know, where you uh, do a service, and this service brings you to self-mastery. Um, and this service is uh, ruled by Mars. His Mars is conjunct at the North Node. So doing a service to people is uh, what he was doing. His uh, creative genius is at moon phase uh, 20, which has, it's, um, understand that all the, um, all the phases of uh, this rectangle are kind of judgmental. They're always evaluating uh, their own behavior, their own work, and the work and behavior of everybody else. Um, Sometimes it's a good thing, and uh, sometimes it's not. <clears throat> but that's what they do. And um, this up here is the judge. The judge is, he knows history. He knows where we've been, how we got there, how we got here, um, and uh, can kind of see into the future. Oh, like I started to say a long time ago, one of my favorite Moon Phase 20s is Teddy Roosevelt, who uh, virtually salvaged, saved, huge swaths of this country from the depredations of um, the plutocrats and um, and saved it for us for for us our he saved it for the future um, he was he was uh, a man who realized uh, how much power can be abused and this is not to say that he didn't abuse it himself he ran roughshod over his family and uh, all of them suffered from it. But he, what he did for the country is without doubt um, at very admirable. And what the um, Moon Phase 20 is supposed to be able to do. They're a powerful group. There's nothing in their way. They can go as far as they want to go, which sometimes, you know, they go right through the promised land and right out the other side. But uh, my T.S. Eliot, that's who the guy was. He said, "If you, that's, that's how you find out how far you can go, is you have to go beyond the bounds. So, um, let's see, what else do I want to tell you about this guy? Julian Assange. If you pray, uh, pray for his health. He's a man who's going to be constantly fighting this war. He can't help it. The, because the war is internal. He's fighting it out in the world, but it is internal. He's uh, 
obliged to use that. You notice the Mars is in Aquarius. Aquarius rules the net. The Sun is square Uranus. Uranus rules Aquarius. So does the Mars in Gemini rule Aquarius. It's all about communication. It's all about communication. And he is uh, very much uh, hooked into telling the truth. That's at Jupiter, ne Neptune. That's his self-image, is I tell the truth. I tell the truth. I make it the truth available. So that's Julian Assange. I hope he... Um, <laughs> I hope he can hang in there, and um, I hope enough of us to get together to demand his release to tell our government, this man has done nothing against the law. Against the law. We have no, you may have a beef, but you don't have a case. Anyway, um, I hope you're uh, doing well. Winter is here, and um, I stay warm, and... Um, be happy in spite of it all. Love you. Bye-bye.